Hey everybody, Steve Ritter. It's time for another episode and it's been a long time coming of crock pot with the Colonel. So I found a recipe today uh, online. Uh, I, I just went and I googled cro good crock pot recipes and I'm scrolling through and there was a few in there. There was one for beef stew and I'm like, ah, I've done that and chili, done that. I did the uh, chicken noodle soup. I've done that one. That was a previous uh video that's the link there to that one uh chicken chicken noodle soup kind of turned into more of a stew but uh but that links up here and then um but anyway i found the recipe that uh, that uh, that sounds great a little bit more of an international flair uh and this one's called ropa vieja i think i got that roll that i roll my r's right there ropa vieja which in Spanish is translate to literally old clothes. So this is the one of the national dishes of Cuba. A lot of the uh, um, Caribbean countries uh, cook this Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. But uh, basically it's, it's slow cooked beef in um, uh, a tomato cumin um, sauce. And, uh, and that's served. And then, you know, at, at some point, so we'll slow cook that for six to eight hours and then shred the beef up in it and let it stay in that that uh, that juice and you kind of mix it all together and then that's kind of spooned out and served over over rice or potatoes or whatever but i'm gonna i'm gonna do it over rice so that's the plan today ropa vieja old clothes so i guess the old clothes is because it's it's like tattered looks tattered like tattered old clothes that's the thought anyway so anyway First thing I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do instead of one take here, I'll be cutting back and forth. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is uh, get our meat. We're gonna we've got some uh, uh, just a, like a roast that I, that I picked up at the at the grocery store. Uh, we're gonna brown that, and then uh, and then we'll make our sauce and uh, and go from there. So uh, stand by one. We'll be right back. All right. So I got my pan all nice and hot. About a tablespoon of olive oil. I've got my my. Uh, roast about a two pound roast two to three pounds um and i just uh, washed it off and then dried it and then uh, a little bit of salt and pepper and some garlic salt i'm not i'm sorry not garlic salt garlic powder so just looking to brown it probably about four to five minutes aside and uh so while that's uh while that's going, if you can hear me, uh, while that's going, we'll, uh, this is actually uh, Australian beef that I got. So they sell Australian, New Zealand beef. Um, they also sell some Wagyu beef, which is like high-end stuff. I don't need that for this. So cheap cuts of meat are fine in this because you're cooking it slow and uh, in a sauce. So really, I mean, that's kind of what these kind of dishes were made for, were like those tough cuts of meat that you normally don't want to eat um, or, or that you, you know, you, it's tough to get them tender. Slow cook them for a while, it's good. So we're going to go uh, keep browning this up. I'm going to go uh, prepare my sauce now. So. About four to five minutes aside, nice and brown is what we're looking for, and uh, it'll finish cooking the rest of the way in the in the pot. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back. <clears throat> so the meat you can still hear it finishing off there. I just turned the heat off, so the meat's uh, that's the sizzling you hear in the background. Started warming up my crock pot. I've kind of learned that over the years. This little technique is uh, well, if you're going to make something in the crock pot, just go ahead and turn it on. And, and warm up it's not like it's gonna burn or anything so uh, with nothing in it but but it's uh, it's already starting to warm up um, so that when you start putting things in it it, it gets gets going right away so um, but this is again this is a great meal to to uh, your know, crock pots are great for hey you you know throw something in you know you prep it the night before put it in the fridge um, and then toss it in Fire it up while you're at work uh, and it's ready. You got a meal wait, wait for you when you get home. So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and we'll put our sauce and then we're going to put our meat in last. So, let's go ahead and get our sauce together here. So, got a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. 
This is just a can of hunts that I picked up. They sell that there. That's nice. Right? Uh, <clears throat> I want to go with uh, two uh, tablespoons of tomato paste. Uno. Dos. En espanol, s'il vous plaît. Oh, that's, that's French, s'il vous plaît. En es espanol, por favor. Right, that's what you'd say. Uh, <laughs> got my languages mixed up there. Okay, uh, one medium onion, a uh, onion, Bella. Uh, and uh, I used a yellow onion and one uh, green bell pepper. Uh, that's going to go in. Just chop it up. If you like bigger chunks, chop it up bigger. If you like smaller, finer. Then, but uh, I think the goal here is a something of some something of substance to bite into later on. So I don't like to mince it up. I, I like bigger chunks. That's fine. The ravishing Mrs. Ritter doesn't care for the big chunks of uh, of onion like that. So um, okay. So tomato sauce, tomato paste. Now I've got seven ounces. It says green chilies. I couldn't find any green chilies, so I found some red uh, jalapenos, and I know they're not chilies, um, but uh, it's it's uh, maybe a little bit hotter than what you're used to. So the green chilies uh, is what you want to use a seven ounce jar. So I, uh, I'm going to use this the seven ounces of red jalapeno peppers. Um, then we're gonna go, so I'm gonna add my spices now. So I've got a tablespoon of oregano, two teaspoons of cumin, uh, two tablespoons of salt, half tablespoon of pepper, uh, red pepper flakes, that's optional if you don't want it hot. Of course, I got the red jalapenos and now these red pepper flakes, so it's pretty much guaranteed this is gonna be hot. So you can leave the red pepper flakes out if you'd like. Um, and then uh, all the all the ingredients and, and directions are down below. So look down there <laughs> and hit like and subscribe while you're down there. Um, then I'm gonna go with uh, two tablespoons of uh, cider vinegar. So I'm gonna have to just kind of eyeball this. So uh, actually, yeah. So uh, th this kind of helps break the uh break the meat down also uh so marinade that's why a lot of marinades uh, use vinegar it'll it, it helps kind of break the meat down make it more tender so cooking it in that vinegar really gives it kind of a barbecue uh thing to it so uh just make sure i got everything here so oregano cumin salt red pepper black pepper cider tomato paste uh, I got the jalapeno chilies in there, uh, yellow onion, bell pepper. I think that's good. So I'm gonna kind of mix this all together now. <clears throat> I think what we'll find is that uh, the uh, the sauce won't be enough to uh, cover the meat, which is fine. So it just kind of makes a paste here. Hmm. Kind of mixing all this. Oh, that's already. Smells good. I love cumin and tomatoes sauce like that. Really, I love it. <clears throat> now I think as these onions and bell peppers and all cook down, uh, the, they'll release their water, and it should should be a little bit more juice here. So now I'm gonna add my meat. You can see that uh, that it browned up real nice. So brown it up real nice, about five minutes per side or so is kind of what it works out to be. Whatever, whatever, brown it up uh, as much as you want here. I'm gonna put that meat in there. I wanna kinda cover it up a little bit. I'm gonna kinda get this all over it. I think this is gonna, now what's gonna happen is this slow cooks all day when, when uh, we come back It'll be evening time. I'll go about my day, and through the magic of film and special effects, it'll all of a sudden be evening for you, and we'll shred this beef up. Hopefully it's nice and tender, and, uh, and we'll uh, 
shred it up and then have it over rice. I'm going to make myself some uh, some rice while we're while we're waiting for that to cook. So uh, we'll be back uh, tonight and uh, we'll see how uh, see how this turns out. Hopefully, it turns out good. It smells good already. So we'll be right back. All right. So it's probably been it's been about eight hours uh, that I've had this in now. I, I can't stand it anymore. It smells so good. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look and see uh, see what this looks like. So uh, now one of the things you can do is to um, uh, you can turn the meat over about halfway through. You don't have to. I did. Uh, and I was I was wondering how that was going to be if it was going to be tender or not. Um, so I, I flipped it over about the halfway point, and it was already starting to fall apart. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just bust this meat up. You can see the sauce really thickened up. Um, oh, that's really nice. Um, so you can, let's let's see how this uh, how this meat looks. Yeah, look at that. See, it's just fall off, fall apart tender. So just shred it up, mix it in real good. Look at that. Just shreds right up. Oh man, that's gonna be good. <laughs> oh, can't wait. I got the rice cooking right now. So I'm gonna shred this all up. Look at that. I'm pretty excited about this. It smells great. The tomato sauce mixing in with the cumin and with the cumin and the peppers and the and the onions, a uh, onion, Bella. <laughs> oh man, I'm pretty excited about this meal. Look at that, look at that scene. You can, that can that could go. I'm gonna put that over rice, and you can see the meat was sticking out of the the sauce. But man, once you once you bust the meat up in it, it mixes in all nice. That is phenomenal looking and smells great. You can you can have this over rice. I'm gonna, which is the way I'm gonna have it tonight. Um, this would be great on uh, this would be great on a sandwich. Um, a lot of times they'll have it with you know fried plantains and maybe some beans too. It's kind of the way they would do it there. So those of you that have had this before, maybe your folks made it for you or you grew up eating this culturally. This is the first time I've ever had this. So oh man, I can't wait. I'm gonna have this over some rice. So I'm gonna. Right as soon as the rice finishes, I'm going to put this over rice and uh, taste it for y'all and see how it is. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got uh, my rice all done now, and I'll put my ropa vieja on here. So look at that. Oh, it looks nice. It smells great. It smells like it's got a little bit of a, of, of a kick to it with the hot peppers and everything else, but it's got enough juice. It mixes in nice with the rice. See that? And of course, the meat shredded, shredded up so nice. Oh, uh, let's see. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's good. This would be an awesome sandwich with like a nice piece of uh, provolone cheese over the top of it. Mm. Uh, so the, the hot peppers, it does have a little bit of a kick. So if you don't like spicy food, leave the hot peppers off. But uh, I just dropped it on the floor. It's good. Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'm going to eat dinner now. And so Colonel signing off. We'll see you next time. Hope you enjoy it.